You and I have been acting like we weren't a married couple for most of our marriage, Janelle. Okay, I'm spitting mad now. Maybe this is not a good fit. Maybe this doesn't work. I have somebody in my life who is fundamentally loyal to me. I'm not gonna become Robin. without a crystal ball welcome back to my channel it is tuesday november 29th 2022 how is everyone is everyone good yesterday we did our recaps of the weekend of the weekend episode of the sunday episode of sister wives episode 12 this has been a long season and then we have an episode next week we might have 15 this month this season i'm not sure this is a long season and next week we're gonna see this fight between cody and Janelle about their marriage. So if you remember, there was a tell-all last season and during the tell-all, Cody had made some comments about Janelle and how they don't really partner well. And he said that he didn't believe that Janelle would say that they were in love and he wouldn't admit to being in love with Janelle. Janelle, for her part, called Cody her best friend and said everything was fine. She said it wasn't like she had a relationship with Robin, but it worked for her. That was filmed in November of 2021, and a lot has changed since that time. We recently noticed that Janelle posted some photographs from Thanksgiving, and she traveled to Las Vegas where she spent the holiday with her son, Logan, his wife, Michelle, and the rest of her kids that were in the Utah, uh, Vegas uh Arizona area all were there. The only child that wasn't there was Maddie who lives out in North Carolina. Even Peyton joined in for the festivities. Who was absent? Cody. In the most recent episode, Cody had mentioned that he doesn't really miss or have a big, doesn't think it's a big deal if Janelle doesn't spend the holidays with him, which is kind of funny because the previous season, he they made this whole big deal about how Janelle and Christine weren't spending the holidays with them, but now he doesn't care because whatever, because he doesn't care. Well, I had a call this morning from somebody uh, that is from the Apostolic United Brethren, and she is Christine's aunt, someone we've had a long standing relationship with, Kristen Decker, and we're hoping to do an interview with Kristen. And uh, probably in a couple weeks, she has so much that she wants to talk about and clear up because she feels there's been a lot of misconceptions that have been out since this episode, since the series or the season has come out and that the underlying issues at play might be the Brown family, might be reality television, but another huge part of the problem here is their belief system. And I was talking to her about why Cody is starting to act the way he's acting. Like, why is he isolating and uh, shunning people or alienating people that are not in line? And it all comes down to the patriarchy. And the patriarchy says, if you don't obey me, you are not a part of me. If you don't follow the rules, you are not a part of this family. It's no different than in their church. The church says, obey us, follow us, or you're out. And in the priesthood of the family, it's very similar of obey me, the patriarch, and if you don't, you're out. And so isolating and alienating and shunning is super common. And what we're starting to see Cody do with the remainder of the family is shun. And it all comes down to the cult belief system. So let's dive into the, to today's topic because it's all sort of on this idea of Cody telling Janelle that he has one wife that's loyal to him and that's not Janelle. 
Before we do, can you do me a very big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, we are getting super close to hitting uh, 300,000 subscribers. We are at, I think, 294,000. Uh, so thank you so much if you've subscribed. Click the subscribe button and make sure that you turn on your notifications by clicking the bell if you want to be notified of new content and make sure to leave a comment if you have something to say. So in the next week's episode, we know that Cody and Janelle are going to have a conversation. They are at a restaurant. The, it's like a Italian restaurant that has pizza and they're having a heart to heart about their relationship. Now, based on photographs that I was able to find from the establishment that they were at, it looks like this took place in October of 2021. So Janelle and Cody get into this fight and Cody confronts Janelle about their relationship. You and I have been acting like we weren't a married couple for most of our marriage, Janelle. Okay, I'm spitting mad now. Maybe this is not a good fit. Maybe this doesn't work. It feels like we're unraveling. I'm thinking, what the hell am I doing here? I have somebody in my life who is fundamentally loyal to me. I'm not gonna become Robin. Okay, we it's a lot to unpack and we don't know the whole context of the context of the really of the conversation. We don't know the full conversation. That's literally like a 20 second snippet of what they're going to uncover, right? He looks hostile. He looks aggressive. She looks despondent and uh, I don't know, mad when he brings up Robin. He says that we haven't acted like we're married. I don't think this is a good fit for us. And he says that he has a wife that is loyal to him. And she says, I don't know why I'm here. I am not going to be like Robin. What the hell is going on here? So what the hell is going on here? Let's talk about this. So in my conversation today with Kristen Decker, who is the daughter of Owen Allred, who was the prophet until 2005, and she is the aunt of aunt and cousin it's wild of christine so christine's mom her mom was married to owen and then christine's dad is actually uh Kristen's first cousin so anyways <laughs> Kristen was talking about that the reactions from cody and this like hostility isn't exactly what it's about losing control. It's about the anger. It's about the hostility. It's about being a narcissist, but it's also about disobedience. So apparently part of the job of the woman in the, in the cult is to be obedient to their husband, submissive, obey, and allow him to be the priesthood and the leader of the family. That means that she is supposed to just do whatever he wants, whatever he says, regardless. She is not supposed to push back. She is not supposed to have an opinion. She's not supposed to be independent. That's not what the good wife would be in the AUB. She is to be there for the greater good, to endure to the end, and to do all of this in the way of almost as like a martyr. Like the more it hurts, the better. Uh, because there'll be better blessings in heaven. So Cody's reaction to her is about disobedience. Janelle is not being obedient to him. She's not doing what he says. She's not following his lead. She is making decisions about him without him. She's also siding with someone in the marriage, in their union, that is not, Chris, not him. She has taken a position where she is sticking with Christine. She is continuing to have a friendship with Christine. She's being empathetic to Christine. She's being a support system to Christine. That, to Cody, is not only disobedient, it's also not loyal. The wife's responsibility in these cults and in this group is full loyalty to the needs and the wants of the husband. Not to the needs and the wants of the sister wife, not to the needs and the wants of the woman that left, but to the husband. She has a job, and the job is to be loyal, obedient, submissive, keep sweet, pray, obey. So when she makes the decision to do things like buy an RV, not do what he says, he's going to punish her. And a punishment is part of the process. So 
I had said, why is he so ill? Like, why is Cody so quick to discard the kids that are older? And she said, he's discarding those children that are disobedient. So the kids that are not obeying what he says, that are not following his lead, that are not telling, doing what he says, he will shun. Another aspect they she mentioned was that some polygamous, polygamist men, not only is it about disobedience, but it's about competition. And some men, because they're all looking for the same women, their older sons become competition to them for future wives. Cody might say he doesn't want another wife, but any of his sons, if they were going to stay in the faith, theoretically would be competition to him. They've also decided to not follow the faith, which is again, disobedience to his priesthood. So when those people don't fall in line and he can't control them, rather than support them and continue to have a healthy relationship with them in the cult, uh, Christine, Kristen was saying it's slander, it's shunning, it's uh, throwing people under the bus, making them look like it's their fault, it's their problem, they're the bad people. And they have a sense of we are better than you, you are not doing your job to be the obedient wife that endures to the end. So he's yelling at her because of that. Now, Janelle has said for years that this is not what she signed up for and uh, that's not what she joined. And Janelle might just be confused. I'm not sure. She grew up in the LDS, not quite as, I mean, the LDS is pretty patriarchal, but maybe not quite as controlling as this group. But she claims that she didn't sign up for that. She was supposed to have more freedom than that. And she was always a super independent person. Her in her falling into this cult has always shocked me, to be honest. And she's disobeying, she's finding independence, and so she's starting to figure out, why am I here? And unless she falls in line and starts obeying Cody, this is what she, she's gonna expect. The verbal abuse, the manipulation, the condescending, being super arrogant, being super verbally abusive and rude, until she finally submits. Like, remember how she said, I feel like he's going to do this until I obey or until I roll over? That's what it's about. It's to whittle them down into submission. It's about control, but it's also part of their belief system. So she is being yelled at and being scapegoated because Cody, for some part, probably feels like there's a way, a means left to bring her back in, reel her back in. And if that doesn't work, and if he can't reel her back in, he's going to discard her and he's going to abandon her. Now, what we were talking about was Mary and why is Mary so duped by this? And Kristen said it's because she's like the martyr, the brave martyr polygamist wife that believes that the more suffering she has on earth, the stronger she is and the better blessings she'll get in heaven from God. So the more pain that she's put through by Cody is a sign and a testament of her strength, meaning that she's stronger, more capable, and more resilient than anyone. And so not only is she just willingly handing over him money, she's doing this because she thinks by handing him money, she'll get more blessings in heaven. It's really sad if you think about it. And it's all false doctrine. And it's un it's horrible that, you know, she's been indoctrinated into this and she hasn't woken up yet not for a lack of trying from people in her lives so one final thing that we are talking about is cody puts her uh robin up on this pedestal and says that robin is the perfect wife and that she's loyal and obedient and doing all the right things kristen is adamant that robin is not a narcissist at all in fact, she said that Robin is a wife in a system where she's in a survival mode. And this is actually mirroring exactly what Gwendolyn has said and what Peyton has said, that it's not about narcissism for her. It's about getting what she needs for her children. And in order to get what she needs for her children and herself, she has to obey. When I asked, like, does she run the house? Does she make the rules? In this world, 
No, but if she's obedient, he might give her things and do things for her as a gift. You know, like you've done so much for me, here it is. And the favorite wife is not uncommon. It's super common. And how Cody's treating the non-favorite wives is also super common. So Robin might want money, she might want security, she might want safety, and maybe Cody's offering her that. But eventually, she will get worn out. That was what Kristen said. When his demands become so overwhelming, she will get worn out. Maybe when she's 50, she'll reach that point where she's worn out, much like Janelle, much like Christine. Once they are out of childbearing years and they can't have any more kids, it's not a pleasant place for women in polygamy because they're no longer offering children to their husbands. And women get burned out because men are always on the hunt for something younger to make more children. I know he says that he's done and he shouldn't have any more kids, but for their belief system, it's not about that. It's about uh, more kids in heaven. So Janelle is saying, I want out. Cody is saying, you're not like Robin. Robin is doing what she needs to do and Mary is playing the martyr, which are all common in polygamy. We'll have to see more about how this plays out and whether or not Janelle actually fully stands up for herself. But Kristen is hopefully going to come on for an interview in a couple weeks and we're going to tease through a lot in here. And one thing she specifically said she wants to talk about is the wonderful life that Christine had, an example she had with her parents, and why the parents that Christine had and how kind they are is part of the reason why she was able to get out because she had parents that were good parents. She had good people in her life. And so we'll talk more about that along with all the other aspects soon, but tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.